Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is what is the sexual phenotype of Drosophila that has XXY sex chromosomes and two sets of autosomes. And uh, just like in mammals and humans, in um, Drosophila uh, fruit fly uh, we have X and Y chromosomes. But uh, sex determination system in Drosophila has its own peculiarities. For example, uh, this genotype would be of the male and genotype that is XX would be of the female. But actually not the Y chromosome defines the sex. Y chromosome only defines fertility in males. But the balance of the X chromosomes to autosomes defines uh, where the phenotype would be male or female. So his uh, example, uh, this fruit fly uh, haploid number of chromosomes is 4. So 1, 2, 3 would be autosomes and the fourth would be with the X chromosome or Y chromosome. So in diploid organism uh, we may get following sets. So we would have 6 autosomes and we call uh, all the chromosomes autosomal chromosomes uh, all except sex chromosomes and for example what we see here we see one set of autosomal chromosomes here is another set of autosomal chromosomes and here is one set of um, sex chromosomes. So we have one uh, X chromosome here. So the ratio would be 1, 2, 2. And in this case that means that this is going to be phenotypically male. But because uh, we don't see here Y chromosome this male would be infertile. So whenever we see that X chromosome uh, would be uh, in the ratio that would be less than uh, number of sets of uh, autosomes, this is going to be a male. For example, if we would have Y chromosome here, again, this doesn't affect our ratio because here we only count number of X chromosomes. But this is going to be a male that is going to be fertile. But if we would have here two X chromosomes, so our ratio would be 2 to two, 2 and when we have the same ratio or number of uh, X chromosomes would be greater than uh, sets of uh, autosomes, so we do not count here individual autosomes, we just count sets. So if we would have for example 2 to 2, this is going to be female. But if we are going to have another X chromosome here, uh, our ratio would be 3 to 2. Once again, in this case, this is also going to be a female. And if we are going to have two sets of autosomal chromosomes and three sets of sex chromosomes, this is going to be an aploidy. Uh, here we are going to have trisomy, trisomy of the X chromosome. And what if we are going to have here, instead of three X chromosomes, X, X and Y chromosome. In human karyotype that means male, presence of even single uh, Y chromosome means phenotype that is male. But what we have here, we only count number of X chromosome and uh, we count how many sets of autosomes we have here. And we have one set of autosomes, second sets of autosomes, one and two X chromosomes. So the ratio would be two to two. Once again this is going to be phenotypically female. Repetition is mother of learning. This is Russian proverb. So let's now uh, complete this table and compare uh, different genotypes and phenotypes in humans and Drosophila. Euploidy means normal number of chromosomes and aneuploidy means 
that uh, some chromosomes can be extra or can be missing. So let's go over euploidy first. Two X chromosomes in Drosophila means female phenotype and also female phenotype in humans. X and Y chromosomes presence in diploid Drosophila means male phenotype, so normal male phenotype and also normal male phenotype in humans. And now let's go over this variance XXY. In Drosophila this means female phenotype because we have two X chromosomes and the ratio would be 2 to 2. This is female. And the presence of the Y chromosome here in Drosophila doesn't affect the sex of the uh, Drosophila doesn't affect its uh, phenotype. But in uh, humans this is going to be a male phenotype. So this is going to be a male because in humans any extra X chromosome would form a bar body. So in humans this X chromosome so let me write it here would be inactivated and would form a bar body and we would have X and Y genotype which means of course male and maleness and even if we would have for example in males one more extra chromosome we just would see another bar body so another X chromosome would be inactivated and still we would see X and Y chromosomes that is active but of course every extra chromosomes in males means that uh, such syndrome would worsen and we call this syndrome is Klinefelter syndrome and such uh, human males would be infertile and as for the X or genotype or here stands for the absence of the other X chromosome we also can say that this is zero so this genotype in Drosophila produce male phenotype because ratio of the X chromosomes to sets of autosomes would be 1 to 2 so so this is going to be male but male going to be infertile because uh, of the absence of the Y chromosome here and X or genotype in humans means female phenotype so phenotypically this is going to be female but this female also would be infertile and we call this Turner syndrome so what happens once again because we have uh, X chromosome inactivation system those females has normal females has two X chromosomes one of the X chromosome would be inactivated and uh, would form a bar body so both males and females has equal number of the active X chromosomes so those you see that females has two X chromosomes but only one would be active so actually number of the active X chromosomes in females and in males would be the same so that's why uh, females that have uh, only one X chromosome of course wouldn't have a bar body and only would have one active X chromosome in each cell. Those uh, one of the X chromosomes would uh, form a bar body in normal uh, female uh, still some of the regions on this X chromosome would be active and if female would miss uh, one of the X chromosome completely uh, her phenotype would be affected and she is going to be infertile so once again let's return to our question what is the sexual phenotype of Drosophila that has X, X and Y uh, sex chromosomes and two sets of autosomes and this is going to be our answer and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. 
Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.